We live in an interesting time where the lines between board gaming with paper and cardboard and board gaming on a computer have blurred. The good news is that this has led to some great digital implementations of amazing board games that allow us to experience them in a new format. I'm going to give you my top 5 board game digital editions that came out in 2021. This is Legendary Tactics. Implementing a board game in a digital realm can be a little bit tricky. Programming the rules, bringing the art to life, and making it compelling both for people who enjoy the analog version already, and to create new fans out of people who are experiencing the game for the first time in digital format, is challenging to say the least. But there are some great people out there who are accomplishing this very feat. These are my top 5 board game ports of 2021. At number 5 we have The Fox in the Forest. This is a simple trick-taking card game at its heart, but the digital edition uses some gorgeous art and animation to bring it to life. The game plays a little bit like Euchre or Bridge on steroids, as certain cards have special abilities that change the way a traditional trick-taking game is done. But Direwolf Digital has done a great job in making this game engaging in a fun and light way. If you like card games, you might want to give this one a look. Number 4 on my list is Gaia Project. This is essentially a refinement of the great Terra Mystica, only this time in space, with a few variations to make it distinct and interesting. Instead of cult tracks, there are research tracks. Instead of dwellings and temples, you have mines and labs. And you are terraforming entire planets instead of small sections of territory. But the game plays very well, especially if you already have the digital version of Terra Mystica under your belt. Number 3 is Concordia. I originally played Concordia at a friend's house, and I remember thinking that the name of the game made it sound like it might be a bit of a boring game. Instead, I found it to be a game of exquisite balance, interesting decisions, and competitive gameplay. The digital implementation by Akram Digital is not necessarily spectacular at first glance, but the visuals are there and the gameplay is smooth. And the AI is a decent opponent that will teach you how to be competitive against real human players, with whom you can connect through the online multiplayer feature. If you enjoy this type of video, please take a moment if you could to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And please do this not only for us, but for any other YouTube creators that you enjoy watching, as it really helps us all out. Number 2 on my list is Brass Birmingham. I've been a fan of this game since the first time I played it at that same friend's house where I first played Concordia. Where Brass Lancashire seemed opaque and finicky, Brass Birmingham felt more elegant to me, and Kublo has developed a solid digital implementation of the game. The AI is just good enough to be a decent trainer for newer players, and the availability of online play allows people to connect remotely in order to play more Brass Birmingham. The visuals are good and the user interface, once you get the feel of it, works quite well. Before I give you my number one choice, if there are any games that you feel I overlooked, please let me know in the comments below. And the number one on my list, as you may have already guessed, is Gloomhaven. The beta version of this game had been out for a while, but the full campaign dropped this year, giving us the opportunity to play all 95 scenarios with all the bookkeeping and fiddliness of the cardboard version handled by the computer. I might be controversial in saying this, but I think the digital version is actually superior to the analog version for the simple reasons that the setup and bookkeeping time of the game has been reduced to nothing, the art and animations bring the characters to life, and all of the excitement of exploring dungeons has been carried over from the original. This is a wonderful way to get Gloomhaven on the table, in a digital format, that takes up no table space, and where we don't have to worry about the cat jumping up and knocking the pieces all over the place or anyone spilling a beer on the components. For these reasons, Gloomhaven is my number one pick. This is my list, and I hope it gave you some ideas of some games to try in digital form. Thank you so much for watching. This is Legendary Tactics.